Viewers and subscribers, welcome to Guyana Best, where we discuss news about Guyana. We are going to play a video with Guyanese critics exposing Mohammed and Mohammed father. You are going to be real surprised for hear what Guyanese critics is saying about Mohammed. That team Mohammed, who is a billionaire, cannot read and write. How Mohammed is going to be president and he does not have any qualification, drop out of primary school. A whole heap of things Guyanese critics is saying. We all know Guyanese critics and team Mohammed was best friend. And due to this recent allegation of defamation lawsuit and who borrow who money, Guyanese critics finally decided that he is going to expose Timo Ahmed. Before we start playing this video, this is a new YouTube channel. Please press the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section so you will be a part of the discussion. Check out Guyanese critics exposing Timo Ahmed. People live in a fucking dream that yeah, I could ding and I can dress like this boy, I can look like this, I glad I look like this boy, I glad I get rich like this boy. You willing for do it, got what it takes to get them kind of money though? Bascom said what he said publicly. Bascom accused Azadine Muhammad publicly in a video of playing a role in paper shots. For Gondes murder. Publicly. As the Dean Muhammad sue Bascom publicly. And went to court yesterday and basically his lawyer saying, let's keep what happens in the court a secret. The judge said no. What the judge did is gave a warning. Well, only me could have been talking to because they had no other journalists in the court. And no fucking body wouldn't have reported if I hadn't been there. Nobody even know these matters exist. Do you know Bascom is before the court for cybercrime in relation to the same matter? Where Sarabu come and said in the court, in a magistrate's court, when cross-examined, so Rabu gave sworn testimony. Sir Rabu is a serving member of the Guyana police force. The same man who went to America and serve Rickford Burke with his documents. Or see the serving of the documents on Rickford Burke. Right? Oversaw the servant because it's a, it's a man, an American man, duly appointed in the state of New York, served Rickford Bork. Sarabu, so as a representative of the Guyana Police Force, witnessed that service of a summons. Rickford Bork is another one trying for dodgy case. He's saying, Yeah, lie for me. He come in to prove the case of extortion wrong. He come in for put evidence. He try to cover up the case there before the high court presently. Because he knows the evidence of extortion is clear. Rickford Bork is another one. Today we deal with Azadine Muhammad. Now, Azadine Muhammad's lawyer made four submissions. The only one that I re it really dawned upon me is when they got asked, Bascom is the man looking bad. Bascom is the man with talk, Ali talk. So were you trying to protect Bascom? Were you trying to protect the evidence? What is going to happen? And the... Judge is going to make a ruling this morning on one of the submissions. The judge is going to make his decision clear aware this morning. Because Nigel Hughes is asking Sarabu to come to the court. Because in a different matter, in a magistrate's court, Sarabu said, yes, Azadeen Muhammad and Mark Grinmon when he was investigating, were suspects in Paper Shards murder. You know he's become a suspect in a murder? I don't think a lot of people following. You know he's become a suspect in a murder? 
evidence would have to point in a direction. Do you know there are no other suspects in paper shards murder? You know, in a lot of cases when it's confusing, like for instance, here how we be when a wife is killed, the first person to look as a suspect is the husband, close family members. Because 15% of the time, it is so. When a husband is killed, you get a line of suspects. Do you know? They're not a line of suspects as it relates to the paper shards murder. Did you know that? Guyanese people don't know. Because the stories have not been told. The truth has not been told. Azadine Mohammed and Mark Greman are at the top of the suspect list as it relates, relates to paper shards murder. How do you become a suspect? Somebody just pick up just and decide this man is a fucking suspect. Why would anybody do that? Why would this man come out? Why was this man sidelined when he was supposed to be investigating the matter or playing some part in the investigation? Why was Sarabu taken out of the case? These are questions that got to be asked. Now, this banner, Azadine Muhammad wholeheartedly is saying, even to me, that I've been libelous of him. So, why would the lawyer make a submission yesterday for have the matter in camera or not for nobody? No. The judge says no. The judge also said that the media has to be responsible. Obviously, time to make a thing and I'm fucking bad. Is it? That the media has to be responsible. And if it's not so, because how a court matters, when you report in a court matter, are you saying what the judge said? You have to use the letter. You have to convey that message to the letter. As to what the judge said. Me saying what the judge said, I saying the submissions I saying what going on. Tomorrow I can give you all an in-depth because today's trial, the judge plan for done the case today. Obviously, we gotta wait for the judge to do his summary and, 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 and give a judgment. You know, I get judgment today, but the judge wanna wrap up the case today. Sarabu will be back in court this morning. Right? Because Sarabu in a magistrate's court. When asked, gave sworn testimony that Azadine Mohammed was a suspect in Paper Shards murder. Him and what you, the gentleman, Mark Grimond, who was the chief security officer for the Mohammeds at the time. One of the other submissions was what? The judge gonna be ruling on whether because there's a technicality as it relates to making the other party aware 14 days in advance that you're coming up with this Sarabu thing. There's a technicality of one day. The judge is gonna make a decision on that this morning. Um the judge has ruled on the fact that the case is a public thing nothing they ain't got nothing they ain't got nothing to keep secret everything is public the case of the magistrates court nobody reporting Banda. well tbn is in and the critic is reporting i mean why here say are you going to sit down in the court and hear from myself i can tell you look at the judge I look at his body language and it's a young judge is very 
discipline you got judges that express a level of arrogance and all them thing now i find the judge to be very disciplined i find the judge to be very composed i think he has a very good understanding of what he's doing i'm no lawyer i'm looking at the human aspect of it and once people in any environment meet certain criteria there are certain things you could expect of them if somebody acts in a professional manner you tend to get the professional result of them judges are as it relates to the highest as it relates to the order in the way how they compose themselves at least most judges and how they carry themselves and what is expected of them right so today again now the big thing is nobody want rep nobody report to big fucking Glenn Lalan Kaicho news there with Glenn Lalan Kaicho news there how everybody play they know this matter going on then Azadin Muhammad True is lawyer because you got advice a lot try to make sure no media in there, they want to keep it. We want to keep it fucking secret. It's attention, like his attention is gone, gonna get. But what they're accustomed. Imagine Reuters wrote an article about these people, and nobody don't hear on the story. Everybody play like they fucking see the story. Maybe Garden Mosley or one more body had already. Everybody stay away from the story. They don't like people to talk about them. But this is where you're a public figure now. Is you look for attention, you go about looking for attention. That is just some of the excuses critics making for not paying back T Mom in this money. But we all know there is a bigger play to this whole situation why Guyanese critic going out of his way to expose T Mohammed and they were so much friends. Mohammed do so much good for Guyanese critics. Now in the long run, Guyanese critics pick his side. We all know which side. Remember, this is Guyana Best YouTube channel. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section. Guyana Best.